So Grok 3 is officially here, and a lot of people, including Elon Musk himself, are claiming that this is the smartest AI model right now. And in this video, I'm going to uncover all of the important details that you need to know about Grok 3, how to access it, and more. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I'm using for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for that in the video description or pinned comment below. Now, if this is your first time hearing about Grok 3, I'd recommend starting with this live stream from XAI. You'll see Elon Musk right here, along with some of the team members at XAI. I'll leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below, but this is just a really good walkthrough of what Grok 3 looks like, showing the UI, some of the different features, some real world examples, some of the benchmarks, how it compares to the competition, and so much more. So I'd recommend watching that first. And speaking of benchmarks, this is always an important detail to talk about when a new AI model is released. This is coming from Grok's X account. And if I click this, this was actually shown in the demo with Elon Musk and the team. Always take these with a grain of salt. I never know what to believe when it comes to AI benchmarks as obviously they're going to promote their model over the existing competition. But you'll see here we have three categories on this chart conveniently created by XAI, coding, science, and math. So there's Grok 3 and Grok 3 Mini. Those are the two variations of Grok 3 in blue here. And you'll see apparently they're outperforming Gemini 2, DeepSeek V3, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and also OpenAI's GPT-40. I don't see DeepSeek R1 being mentioned here, so that's an interesting call out. Uh, but of course, apparently Grok 3 and Mini are beating uh, all the other models in coding, science, and then also math. And I'm not sure how exactly they're testing it and coming to these conclusions, but that is what they posted on their live demo. And when I hopped over to the Chatbot Arena LLM leaderboard on Hugging Face's website, and by the way, if you've never heard of this, I'll leave this link in the description below. This is a really good resource where those in the AI community are testing the most popular LLMs. And what's interesting is Grok 3's early version labeled chocolate here on the model is apparently ranking one overall above Google Gemini 2.0 models, GPT-40 latest, DeepSeek R1, O1 Preview, O1, Quen 2.5 Max, right? Some of the familiar names that we're seeing in here when it comes to LLMs. Now, something to keep in mind, and this wouldn't surprise me, right? Elon Musk does have a lot of power, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if somehow he manipulated these rankings to get Grok 3 up there at the number one spot. Keep in mind, this also is early Grok 3. This is the beta mode. This isn't even the legit version of Grok 3. So honestly, I have a hard time believing that right from the shoot, Grok 3 in its beta mode is already outperforming every other AI model that's on this list. Something to keep in mind as we're looking at leaderboards like this one. Now, when it comes to access, Grok 3 is only available to those who are subscribed to X Premium Plus, which costs $40 a month or on the annual plan, about $33 a month. As you'll see, I did just subscribe to this this morning so I could try to get access to Grok 3 for this video and show you guys around the interface. But what's interesting as I scroll down here, there was no mention of Grok 3 in the features. The only feature that mentions Grok is Grok with increased limits is apparently the same on Premium versus versus Premium Plus. No mention of Grok 3 right here. And unfortunately, just to be really transparent with you guys, if I go into my X Premium Plus account after I upgraded to the highest tier, I still do not have access to Grok 3. It's showing Grok 2 in the interface right here. And so I went to Grok's website at grok.com, refreshed the page, logged in, logged out, and I still do not have access to Grok 3 or even the beta version. It's only showing Grok 2 right here. So if you guys are subscribed to X Premium Plus, which I am right here. If I click Premium, I triple check this Premium Plus, and you don't have access to Grok 3, let me know in the comments below. I'm not sure how widespread of an issue this is, if this is just some miscellaneous bug, but I did actually install the application on my iPhone, the Grok application. 
And I'll pull up my screen on this video. And as you guys can see, I'm just kind of messing around with it for the first time. I'm asking it to research the top AI news today just to kind of look at its research capabilities because that's one of the aspects that Grok3 is supposed to be really good at. And so you'll see it's processing and let's see what it comes up with. And as you'll see here, this is what the results look like. It has the pages, the posts, it lists all the top AI news today as I'm scrolling down on my phone, just trying to see this for the first time. You can click pages. So these are all the sources right here, the websites and also posts. So these are the actual posts coming from X's platform. Now, if I try another example here to test the image generation, I believe it's still using Flux 1. I'm just gonna ask it, create an image of elephants in Thailand. And what I really liked about this result is the images were very realistic, not even close to what Dolly 3 can produce. And honestly, Dolly, which is OpenAI's AI image generator, is not even close to the caliber of what we get with Flux 1 on Grok. And so again, unfortunately, the only way I can access Grok 3 right now is on my iPhone through the Grok application. When I do get access on the desktop versions, I'm gonna be comparing it to DeepSeek's R1, OpenAI's GPT-40 and O1, probably Claude's model, Perplexity Deep Research. So I'm excited to actually compare it on the desktop version when I get access. So I would expect those videos to come from my channel in the near future. And as I was researching more on Grok3, I also noticed that there was no blog post or press release talking about Grok3 yet. I'm on XAI's website and they have one for the Grok2 beta release, but nothing yet about Grok3, which I think is really interesting. I'm sure that will come out in the future. But again, as of right now, the best resource to get information on Grok3 is simply by viewing this live stream of Elon Musk and the team on XAI's account. So now I wanna hear your guys' thoughts on Grok3. And again, unfortunately, I still do not have access to this on the desktop versions on both Grok's website and within X's interface. It's only available right now on my iPhone. So leave me a comment if that is also the case for you. But if you have other thoughts on Grok3, I wanna hear that in the comments below as well. And if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you found value, but most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.